Good day everyone and welcome to my show The Tune as Malai and today I will be sharing to you all about makeup without makeup. It's actually it's an approach or a technique of putting makeup for women and men. Makeup by the way applies to men and women. It's not it doesn't only apply for women but more so for women because uh, of the intention of enhancing the beauty. But there is what we call a technique that is very, very important for daily wear and more especially for bride. It, that is what we call the technique or the approach of makeup with no makeup. It may be so thick to really enhance the beauty of a person but it's to cover the flaws but it should manifest as if that person is not wearing any makeup at all it's more of contouring and covering all the flosses of their skin on their facial skin up to the neck that is why we always or we usually call it makeup with no makeup how do you achieve it it's after the first, of course, you have to prepare the face. You have to prepare the entire face, clean it up, because makeup will be worn for the entire day. So it should be properly cleaned, hygienically, and then you also have to make sure that your makeup are clean. It's not uh, something that is not spoiled and something that you know that it will not become an irritant to the skin of the person wearing the makeup. So just ensure that the facial, entire facial up to the neck is actually hygienically clean. Hygienically clean meaning to say it's using the proper material in cleansing up the entire face including the neck, the neckline. So that uh, there will always be uniformity from the skin from the facial skin up to your neck and like to some people that i have seen especially in television and paper that the face is so wide and then the neck is a little bit off tangent so there must be a proper coordination of the color between the face and the neck so how is how do we achieve makeup with no makeup is actually using natural color it's brown gray and black these are totally basic color that can actually help enhance and actually using bronze bronze and gold can actually also help to make application of makeup come out as if there's no makeup it's more of contouring here in the face to look uh, to make sure that your face will look elongated if it's rounded and the profiling actually will allow the makeup artist on how he will be able to enhance the face the output the facial output of the client Thank you for the Gucci. I'm actually here in a restaurant. <laughs> I'm here in a restaurant uh, taking Gucci. Gucci for breakfast. It's by the way, it's, it's around 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so there you are. So let's go back to the topic. Uh, applying makeup and then coming out with an output as if there's no makeup. It's basically using the right color, which are the natural color, the neutral color, gray, brown, and black. Dark brown too can be, and for as long it's shades of brown. And then, of course, it must, uh, for blush on, you can actually use uh, light pink. Light pink just to enhance that, uh, it's uh, just to put a glow on the face that it will really look natural as if it just came out from under the sun and then now will look her face just like having a, a pinkish blue uh, blush on her face. 
So it's makeup and no makeup is basically being recommended for bride, bride, and then for a very formal gathering, just enhancing her face, especially when you really want uh, the face of a person, of a lady or a woman, came out to come out to come out as very elegant it is actually by using makeup approach with no makeup so by achieving the makeup with no makeup approach in a makeup application that will measure the skill of the makeup artist on how he or she will be able to transform that face into this face <laughs> that face into this face if I can only do a, what we call a real transformation approach in my video then I will but uh, usually I don't wear my, I don't wear makeup so I can I couldn't really do it myself but I can but I can in applying it to someone else but for me hmm, okay, I cannot imagine wearing makeup no. <laughs> Well, personally, I do have to. I, I tried experimenting, though, but uh, I cannot really still uh, say that I can wear going out. Probably just wear some powder, yes, I can. But uh, really wearing makeup going outside is something that I, I couldn't really say I can do it myself at this time. Probably when I'm a little bit older. <laughs> So there you are. One of the technique of applying makeup is actually basically is uh, you prepare the face, uh, clean it up hygienically, and then apply the the something that like, uh, the toner, and then after the toner, then you can apply the moisturizer, and then after the moisturizer, let it dry first. And once it's dry, then you can apply already the foundation. The, but there's a technique that I do. I, 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 I do apply a concealer before anything else. The concealer can actually let, uh, that can absorb all the, uh, all the chemicals that the, or material that you're going to apply in the face by Having it settle down and apply it evenly into your face, the concealer. So con to, to conceal all of those uh, flaws, then before applying the foundation. Foundation is uh, one of the most important ingredient in making uh, makeup with no makeup approach and using the right tone. The right tone. It should not be dark, or it should not be that. It totally depends on the original skin that he, he has. If the skin tone in his hand should match into the face, it should always match because the moment that I'm putting it this way, then my skin color here will, should also match with my skin color with my hand so that it will never look awful, awful when you are actually in front of your client or else you can put makeup also as well in the hand so any 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 skin that is exposed must have the same color so you can totally enhance everything according to what you want to accomplish okay always remember the skin color must match with your hands skin color in wearing makeup if this is off tangent to this, they know that you have a different skin color here, so it's all because of makeup. That is why it is always being said, even the professional and those who are not, and technically equipped and academically equipped makeup artists, we will always say that skin color here should match with your skin color in your hand. So that there is what we call consistent consistency and the, the objective is to approach or to come out with 
a makeup with no makeup. Well, other approaches of wearing makeup is actually television makeup. It's totally different than a makeup with no makeup because you need to have really uh, harder contouring so that it will really come out in the television to be very, very more enhanced beauty, especially that the uh, and television shoot just like what I'm doing now that uh, should uh, I be wearing makeup then it should be more of contouring and using neutral color as well the purpose of which is we can we can make this a little bit darker and then this one darker so that what can be captured by the camera will actually change the output on the screen mm -hmm. now you know and of course, adding more color is inappropriate because for unless, unless otherwise if you really want to make her face really colorful. But if it's more for enhancing his face just like a nose caster compared to an artist or an artista la, an artista lahi uh, lahi sila o itawag na to preparation for makeup. The nose caster must, not, must use natural color and even the hair, it should not be like updo or what, it should be the formal, just putting their hair down or straight, no artistic approaches because it's uh, their delivery news and for other artists, like if they're a performer, then they can actually articulate the hair styling to complement on their makeup. So there you are ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, my, so my short video on how you will be able to enhance the face of someone and using the approach of makeup with no makeup approach. So it's achieving as if there's no makeup. There might be some eyeshadow and, and blush and contouring, but it should make their face come out as if there's no makeup. Thank you very much for watching and this has been Chun Esma saying thank you always for following me through with all of my lives here with my Facebook account and also with my YouTube. I'm also uh, downloading all of this video into my YouTube and if you've noticed I'm not anymore using a musical background so it won't be uh, actually very restricted by different platform where I will be downloading all of these videos. So thank you so much everybody and have a great day. Bye everyone.